Throughout our history, the Fifth Amendment has not solved all injustices, but it has at least required due process for accusations of crimes. Due process puts the burden of proof on the accuser, not on the accused. So what does this mean for us today? How can we, drive, how can we apply the Fifth Amendment to our own lives in this very room, even if we are not in a court or accused of a crime? Due process is a way of thinking, and it has a spirit which is greater than even within the courtroom. It should be a part of our everyday lives. The spirit of due process means to look at the facts and not rush to judgments based on ignorance. Due process means to judge situations and behavior while ignoring stereotypes and group judgments. Not all teenagers are dangerous. Not all parents are uncaring. Not all teachers are lazy. Not all of Milwaukee is violent. Rather, due process is buried at the heart of the Fifth Amendment is a prism of life shattering the darkness of ignorance in our everyday lives. Due process, as founded in our Fifth Amendment, can squelch ignorance and gossip, such as he says, she says, and every kind of ignorant conflict. It is a classical form of conflict management. Due process is not just a Fifth Amendment concept. It is a way for us to look at life. For all of these reasons, why should we not consider this expectation for all of our students in MPS? Each and every MPS student should be able to explain the Fifth Amendment and due process to another student or to a class or even an adult before eighth grade graduation. Should we really expect any less than that? After all, due process and the Fifth Amendment is more than an idea in the courtroom. It is actually the fundamental demand of being a citizen. Again, thank you for this excellent opportunity to share my thoughts on the Fifth Amendment. It has been an honor to be in the presence of the Milwaukee Board of School Directors and the Superintendent of Milwaukee Public Schools.